A developing story in Northwest Miami-Dade where a school bus filled with students was struck by something that was enough to shatter a window. Police are still on the scene here investigating and so is our own Janine Stanwood live now with the latest for us. Janine. And Cavalry, we have an update. Investigators now think it was somebody with a pellet gun who was shooting at that school bus and some of the kids on board, we are told, had special needs. I'm going to step out of the way. You can see that uh, Miami-Dade police investigators are still here. That bus was actually allowed to drive away just a short time ago and take some of those kids home. We want to take you to Sky 10 video from just a short time ago after it happened. That bus coming to a stop at Northwest 72nd Street and 19th Avenue after people on board reported hearing something striking at that bus. Two windows, we understand, were shattered, and at least one person on board, a boy, said that he felt something sharp at his face and it could have been flying debris. Ground video shows the scene, shows detectives on the scene. We do understand that that boy was treated by paramedics who ended up arriving on scene. That boy, thankfully, was cleared. He did not have to be transported. But what a scare for these parents wondering what in the heck was going on after this bus came to a stop. Parents, no doubt, were very worried. Even the superintendent showed up just a short time ago. Take a listen to what he had to say. Someone actually had the gall of uh, shooting what appears to be uh, a pellet gun at a school bus, uh, two windows shattered, did not break, but shattered. And what makes this really reprehensible is this is a bus that transports students with disabilities. Thankfully, though, all of the kids are safe, but as you can see, Miami-Dade police are still on the scene. That is because they still have investigating to do. They're trying to figure out who would open fire, who had that pellet gun. Right now, they're investigating, but thankfully, those kids are safe and sound. That's the latest from Northwest Miami-Dade. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. Okay.